Hey guys, what's up? It's Got the Nesnias here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and my overall thoughts on it, about the games and the system itself, and any problems that I've been having with the system. We're going to go from the good stuff to the bad stuff, and then my overall thoughts. So, to start off, I'm going to be talking about the games. Right now, you are looking at Fast RMX, which is a spiritual successor to F-Zero, even though it really reminds me of Wipeout 2048, or just really any Wipeout game because of the way the cars look. I mean, I don't even know if you could call them cars, they're just vehicles that float on a track, but whatever. It's really fun, really fast paced, as you can see, and th this game, I, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'll like that, but because the launch lineup is, yes, small, but I think it's a, a good launch lineup, like it's, it's not terrible, but it's also not amazing, since it's small, I got this game along with a couple other ones, and I didn't think that I'd really like it all that much, but I've been playing it more and more recently. Now the next game is Snipper Clips, and I'm not going to be putting up any gameplay of this, first of all because I don't have a second person to record this game with, so it'll just be me swapping in and out of one person, and I don't know if Nintendo is copywriting people for this or not, so I'm just going to not show any gameplay and you guys can keep looking at Fast RMX and it's a really good game. So Snipper Clips is a puzzle game you guys have probably heard about. It was like the underdog of the launch lineup and then everybody was coming out and like giving it a bunch of praise and everything. So it's pretty well known I think in the Switch community right now. It's just a puzzle game, two player puzzle game, you can cut each other up, you can, I don't know, they're, they're, it's really basic, you cut each other, you jump, you twist, and that's really about it, and that, using those three things, you solve puzzles together, which they progressively get harder and harder, which they should. So, that's a really fun game if you have another person to play with. The next game I'm going to be talking about is Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. No, I did not get the full Shovel Knight game on Switch, I got Spectre of Torment because I already own Shovel Knight, the original, on Wii U. So I got Spectre of Torment, it's pretty fun so far, even though I've only played the first level and then a little bit after the first level I got some stuff in a shop, and then replayed the first level again. You're seeing me replaying the first level. It's a, it's a pretty fun game, except Shovel Knight is like one of those games that I think is too hard for me. Um, I don't know about that, but... I think it's a pretty hard game. You guys might not think that, but I do. And the last game I want to talk about, of course, everyone's talking about it, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Absolutely amazing game. There's not much I can say about it, but it's an amazing game. It kept me playing it for an entire week. I just beat it yesterday, which was Friday, and I'm recording this on Saturday. So I just beat it yesterday, and that means that I played it for a week and beat it. And when I say play for a week and beat it, I don't mean like hour two hours three hours a day no this is like five hours a day at least so i was playing it consistently like the first night i got it um i came back home i made the video so then i played for like two and a half hours after that got up played it the entire day played it all the entire day sunday brought it to school played it every one of those days i have like three periods during the entire school day where i could play that so that's like hour, two hours, yeah, about two hours, come home, play it. So I was playing this game a lot. I got all the Divine Beasts done. I got the Master Sword. I got 13 hearts, and I beat Ganon. So I beat the game as far as I'm concerned. And it's a really fun game. It's just its biggest downfall is all the frame drops it gets. It gets way too many frame drops when you're playing on TV mode. When you're playing on portable mode, barely any. But when you're playing on TV, there were so many frame drops, it was kind of ridiculous, and I realized it was terrible in the Lost Woods. That place was terrible for frames, like, a consistent, like, 15, 20 frames, probably. There's no way for me to actually count the frames, but th it was pretty bad. So it would be awesome if this system was maybe a little bit more powerful, but I understand why it's not, because it's so small, and I'd rather have it super small and portable and stuff because that's awesome to have is like the versatility of this thing is awesome so Breath of the Wild I think they just need to take out a whole lot of grass because the grass and the fire are really what screws everything up and in the Lost Woods I'm pretty sure it was all the grass and flowers and stuff. Now the last one or the last thing I want to talk about is any problems I've had with the system. As of right now I've had one problem with the system and it's 
not software, it's hardware. So you guys probably know that there's a lot of problems with the switches, the pre-order switches, like the first run of them. And my right Joy-Con, it's not the connectivity issue, it's the actual latching onto the system. Now I'm gonna show you a video right here where I latch it onto the system. It's probably really dark, I might make it brighter in editing, but I latch it onto the system and I can just pop it off. Like, it'll keep hold of the system if I'm holding it sideways with the right Joy-Con, but if I do anything more than that, it'll slide right off. So, it's okay, it's fine right now for if I'm just using it, but it's a little annoying. I mean, it does latch onto the system pretty well. It's just really annoying that I don't have to hit that button and I know it's not latched on there well. So that is really the only problem I've had with the Switch. And as of right now, I have a skin on my Switch, which is probably the worst idea ever, but I found out about the whole skin thing afterwards. So I don't want to take it off if it does ruin anything because then I'll be out of skin and I'll have a terrible looking Joy-Con and Switch, so I think I'd rather keep it on there. I don't know, I might change that in the future, but as of right now, um, the right Joy-Con is sometimes popping off, it, like if I put enough pressure on it, it's like not too much pressure whatsoever, but still, and then the skin. So overall thoughts on the system? Really fun, like really awesome system. I don't think you need to go out and buy it now. Um, especially with all the problems they're having, and you really can't go out and get one right now. Uh, their next shipment isn't to, until like mid-April, I'm pretty sure, or beginning of April. I'm guessing somewhere around there. They just said April. So right now, you can't really rush out and get one. And I'd wait until at least summer, because in summer, you will have, by then, Breath of the Wild, which you could just get on a Wii U. You'd have ARMS and Splatoon 2, and I'm looking forward to both of those two games. And then you'll be ready for when other things come out, like Super Mario Odyssey and Skyrim. I know a lot of people want Skyrim in the fall, so you'll have it for that. And uh, I think that's about it. Like, the functionality of the system is perfect. I haven't had anything wrong with that. Um, yeah, besides that, I think that is it. And this has been Catherine Esenius signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. Peace out.